Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna make a video and I'm not gonna be talking about scripture here, but some principles from scripture, I guess. You know, I just made this Calvinist, Calvinist video and I didn't really cover scripture, but that's okay. Uh, you know, it takes time to do those studies when you get out of the scripture, and I'm all about the scripture. That's what I really, you know, am all about, but uh, sometimes, you know, just make videos, just talk about things. But, anyways. I'm going to open up my monster here, monster energy drink, you know, with the 666 and stuff. I'll probably have somebody take a screenshot of this and say that I'm supporting the Mark of the Beast now or something. Even though, you know, the Mark of the Beast in Scripture 666 is just symbolic and it's not, you know, it's not going to be some microchip or whatever, all the stuff that people speculate on. Uh, this is just a drink, an energy drink. It's like a strong soda. It's not really good for you, but I like them every now and then. It's a hard habit to break, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to be stopping that pretty soon. I'm just drinking a lot of water. So I really do want to promote healthy living, but it's good to eat, you know, fruits and vegetables and clean protein and drink a lot of water and all that, but, you know, sometimes I enjoy these, so that's fine, though. Um, but I think that kind of ties in with what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this little clip that I just uploaded a while ago, uh, a week or two ago, about Jason Cooley, where he's saying that if you watch Star Wars, then you're um, worldly and you're supporting pedophilia. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I didn't really say anything about the clip, I just uploaded it, so people might wonder, like, if I'm agreeing with it or what, <laughs> but no, I don't agree with it, okay? I saw that, and I was wondering, should I just make a video about it, or talk about it, or what should I do, and I'm like, I'm just going to record the clip, so then I can probably put that clip on the website in the future, but I'll just upload it on YouTube now and see what anybody says, but I think it's absolutely ridiculous, and I think it's very, like, cult-like, he's very, um kind of controlling in a way to people uh, what they can and can't do and uh, I don't really see that in scripture I want to say you know that I do see there's a lot of problems with Walt Disney and stuff I mean I can agree with that you know in the videos and if you're having your children watch videos and stuff they can have an impact you know they can teach a false view of love they can you know a lot of the women and stuff are not dressed very well in those shows and um, you know they have pagan ideas and stuff like that. I know that. Um, so it's really up to parents and stuff if they want to let their ch children watch that. But, you know, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not going to go without saying that there's issues, that there's issues with the company and stuff like that. Um, or that, you know, pedophilia goes on at Walt Disney World or whatever and stuff. You know, I wouldn't disagree with stuff like that. But, just to make a general statement that anybody who watches Star Wars or any Walt Disney movie is worldly and supporting pedophilia, that's an absolutely, that's just horrible reasoning and logic. Um, and I think, you know, Cooley would contradict himself. And I just really think it's ironic, too, that not that long after that, he just came out with like a four hour long video on Donald Trump saying how Americans were fooled for voting for Donald Trump. And I didn't even watch it, but I've heard him talk about stuff like that before, how Donald Trump's just as wicked and, you know, it's just as bad as Hillary or whatever. But I think that by him attacking Trump and stuff, and I know the election's all over with, and I'm glad, and I don't really want to talk about it, but. I do think this kind of has some relevance because I think that, you know, all these preachers who are preaching against Trump or against voting at all, you know, I feel like in a way they're kind of supporting abortion because Hillary was totally pro-abortion. Now, Jason Cooley could say, well, Trump is too, you know, he was just, he was just saying what he felt he needed to say just to get people to vote for him and he's not going to, you know, actually do anything. You know, well, that might be true, but, you know, we kind of have to go off what the man says. You know, we look at Hillary, and we definitely see that she was definitely, you know, for abortion. And they had a b debate where they brought this up, you know, and Trump said that, you know, abortion at such a time or whatever is is murder. Um, basically, that's what he said. 
And, you know, he's not perfect on abortion, but it's a step forward, and it's definitely better than Hillary's view. You know, why isn't Jason Cooley making a four-hour video on how evil Hillary Clinton is, you know? And he says that people were fooled for voting for Trump, okay? Like, who could have got elected that Cooley would think that, uh, that people weren't fooled for voting for? You know what I mean? Like, if Ben Carson got elected or something, he'd be like, you were all fooled. Or if, like, Ted Cruz got elected, he'd be like, you were all fooled. Like, you know, he's just, like, apparently against the whole voting thing, period, or something. You know, I don't get it. But what I'm saying is, like, his his logic is, like, flawed. You know, if you watch Star Wars, then you're worldly and you support pedophilia. Okay, well, if you don't vote against Hillary, then I guess that you're pro-abortion. And that actually makes more sense to me. You know, that is actually a big issue, you know, our, our leader of our country and, and how we're going to go forward and stuff. You know, and we want to you know, be a more godly nation. We want, we should want to improve on these things any bit that we can, even if it's just a tiny bit, you know, and we kind of just have to take people by their words at some points. We know that Hillary was definitely for that stuff. Okay. There's no denying that. So, you know, I hope you see like the comparison here. Like he's saying, if you watch Walt, Dis Walt, watch Walt Disney or you watch Star Wars, then you're worldly and you're supporting pedophilia, but yet he's all against voting for Trump and stuff when if Hillary would have got elected and those were the only two choices it was going to be Hillary or Trump if Hillary would have got elected then you know she was totally pro-abortion totally anti-god totally anti-free speech and everything else you know that she had all these bad things that would have happened that would have you know worsened the persecution of uh, Christians you know and allowing in more immigrants and everything else it just it's just disgusting but you know i'm sure there's plenty of other examples but i just think that he's just very cult like you know to say that stuff uh you know watching a movie or whatever doesn't make you worldly okay it doesn't uh making you worldly is following the way of the world you know um you know, being hateful and and selfish and stuff and anti-God and stuff, that's the way of the world. That's being worldly, okay? It's not just watching a movie or listening to some secular song or drinking a monster or a Mountain Dew or something because you want to. That's not what makes people worldly, okay? And, you know, and again, to say that watching a Walt Disney movie... It, it means support it means that you're supporting pedophilia you know it's like the same thing like using YouTube or using a Microsoft if you use a Microsoft product then I guess you support globalism or you support you know genocide or whatever you know if you drove drive a Toyota then you support whatever you know wicked stuff they come up with or if you shop at Walmart then you support that you know or if you shop here or do this or look at that person or talk to this person or whatever, then you support this. I mean, the conclusions are just endless and they're, it's not, it's not logical, you know? And I, I think that it makes more logical sense, sense when it comes to the presidency and stuff, but, and that's the cult-like thing too about Cooley is he, I've seen it and, and I've documented it on the website, all these false arguments that he comes up with. I mean, he comes up with all kinds of absurd uh, logical, f logically flawed arguments, and you know people don't call him out on him. You know they just they continue to listen to him and follow him, and they just soak it up, and then they repeat the things that he says. And it's very dangerous, very dangerous. Uh, you know people need to be taught to think for themselves. People need to learn. You know you need to learn these logical fallacies and stuff, and to catch these things. You know, so I think there's a thing of convictions. You know, everybody has their own convictions. Some people might be really convicted about the Walt Disney stuff. And if you don't want to watch that or have anything to do with that, fine. But you can't say that other people are in sin or something because they want to watch one every now and then. Okay, obviously there's different uh, levels and stuff. You know, if somebody's all about Walt Disney, they got posters everywhere, movies, they're always talking about the movies, they never talk about the Bible or, you know, seem to care about the Lord or whatever, then yeah, you know, they're probably lost, okay? But, you know, if they love the Lord and they're into the Bible and everything else, and then just on the weekend or something they want to pop in a movie for an hour and a half or something, and that's what they enjoy, then that's fine. 
okay? That's not, that doesn't make somebody worldly. And, you know, maybe Cooley means, you know, maybe he doesn't mean that as, like, cut and dry like that, but that's how he makes it sound. And I do kind of believe that that is what he means. I do think he means, like, cut and dry like that. If you watch Star Wars, then you are worldly and you're supporting pedophilia. You know, with no no, no leniency or, or anything. And that's just absolutely nuts. I think that's the kind of stuff that we need to stay away from that's dangerous. You know, we can warn people of the dangers and stuff. You know, I could say that Monster and these foods and these drinks and stuff are unhealthy and that's going to have an impact. But you know what? That doesn't mean that you're in sin or it doesn't mean that, you know, you're worldly because you do that. You know, uh, we have some liberty and some freedoms, you know. So we can't always force our convictions on other people, you know, if it's not something that's explicitly stated in Scripture. You know, and there's lots of general things that people apply to stuff, you know. Reprove the unfruitful works of darkness and stuff, and they'll say, well, you know, Walt Disney is the unfruitful works or whatever, and they'll just apply these things generally, and these broad things, you know, but I think that we really can't do that, so... So there are issues with Walt Disney, and there's issues with Star Wars and stuff, uh, but that doesn't mean that watching them makes somebody worldly. Okay, it's other things that makes people worldly. You know, it's from what's within. You know, envy and, and hatred and and those you know those sins. Those those are the ways of the world. Um. So, anyways. <sighs> That's just, that's the kind of like the independent fundamental Baptist thought that, you know, I used to be into that. And, you know, it's, it seems easy to do that stuff, to say, you know, don't watch any movies, you know, don't listen to any music, you know, don't wear this, don't, don't eat that, don't shop here, whatever. But uh, that's just cultism. Okay, that's just uh, bondage and... You know, it's wickedness, really. It gets to that. So that's that's my thoughts on that clip. Okay, so I don't agree with that at all, and it's a huge uh, logical fallacy. And he just opened up a huge can of worms by making a statement like that. Of course, he won't care. Probably won't change, and neither will his followers. You know, there's people who commented and said, "Amen, amen, brother Cooley," or whatever. But no. So, and, you know, personally, I don't really watch movies like that anymore. So it's not because, you know, he poked me wrong somehow. And, you know, that's probably what he'll say. He struck a nerve or something. No, not really. Uh, I just think that, you know, it's, it's not biblical. It's, it's putting shackles on people and, you know, making people feel guilty and stuff probably when they don't need to be. Uh, so, anyways, that's my thoughts on that. God bless.